In uh, this video, I will focus on setting up access rights and other nifty nifty things that you need in order to be able to um, use your layers in field data collection. So um, we have hopefully created a layer and if I go here to my layer we have this detail uh, view that we can work from and we have talked about doing visualization. The users tells us how, how much user has been on this layer. Not really interesting as of yet because this layer has just been created today so only used today. The interesting thing that we'll be focusing on today on this video is the settings. So in the settings there are different things that we can do. We can mark it as depreciated so if you have decided this is not the layer you're working with you can do that. You can if it's a data set you a bit you know don't want to delete by accident you can set prevent this. This gives a, an extra test when you are deleting it. It will ask have to turn this one off before deleting the layer. So it's a way of ensuring that you do not accidentally delete a layer. You can set the extent. I talked about that when we created the layer, that we could set an extent. Here we can change the extent if to the organization's default or the organization's region. You can use what is at the moment. You can search for a place. You can type in the coordinates for the extent or you can uh, use the drawing tool to draw wherever um, the layer is so you can just drag it you know around here say so, okay this is more precisely what I want and uh, and save that to the extent down here this is the really important part so what layers is uh, editing enabled so can you change the content of the layer yes keep that on do you want to track updates? Uh, and typically you want to, if it's um, a project you are sharing with people, the, this one. Um, so keep tracking of who created and last updated features. As you say, most of these you will leave them in the default because they are sensible. Um, you want to synchronize. The, um, this is especially important to have this one on. If you want to do a field data collection and not be online in your device when you're doing the collection. So go offline with your device to your, your data collection. Once you are on the internet, you can go online and then you can save your data to ArcGIS Online. So this one is important to have on. Then this question, what type of edits are allowed? Can you only edit add features? Can you edit and update them? Are you also allowed to delete them? I'm just leaving it as all, but of course if you're doing some crowd data sourcing, you might just say that you're only allowed to edit data. You can also decide who can edit it. So if you have multiple people um, doing edits, it, can they edit can they see all of them or only their own? And can they also edit only their own or can they edit all of them? So again here you can see all and typically if um, you have multiple people you might want to say that they can only edit their own or you can leave it as so if someone corrects other people's mistakes they are able to do that. Okay. Uh, so uh, can you have anonymous users? So do you, can you especially if you're doing a, a, a crowd data collection, you can set up a web site where people don't have to log in to ArcGIS Online, and then you can allow them to, uh, to do data select. So typically, uh, if you do that, um, make sure that they only add new features. Do not let people uh, give, give people the ability to delete and update. Uh, without being signed in and that's basically it so uh, you can choose how to optimize it um, typically that I don't change anything down here and you can say finally should you allow other people to download the data set so they can download it 
and use them on the desktop GIS. I typically think that's okay. So people I've shared it with should also have the ability to download it and take it into their own GIS. So I will turn that one on and press my save. So those are the basic settings you need in order for your layer to be ready for, uh, for field data collection. The only thing we need is we now need to add all the layers we need in the field data collection, not just one. So I'll be adding some more layers and then we will put all of these layers together in one map. So that's enough for this video.